Welcome to five ideas for what to wear to work this week. Hello everyone, my name is Jay. Welcome to my channel. This week I'm going to be giving you five ideas of what to wear to work this week. We're really going to focus on suiting and suits. And we'll be, we'll be transitioning to the fall. And so our colors are gonna to tend to get a little darker, but we're still gonna stay within that neutral family because I know how much you guys love neutrals and I love neutrals too. And so the first outfit I have on is a navy blue outfit. I absolutely love navy blue. Navy blue is my favorite color, more so than black. And when you get in your 40s, 50s, and 60s, navy blue tends to be less harsh on the skin than black is. I still love black, black is very classic, but navy blue is a very elegant, classy color that we can implement into our wardrobe, especially as we transition to fall as well as winter. And so this first outfit or ensemble that I put together is gonna to be these pants that are from Reese. These pants are extremely comfortable. They're a drawstring pant, which almost gives a nod to a jogger, which makes them extremely comfortable. And they have pockets, and you know how much we all love pockets. They make some pants like this um, that are a nod to joggers as well, that have a, a stripe down the side of them. And I don't know if you, if you all are familiar with Reese, you know the pants that I'm talking about. But these pants are just solid navy blue with a jawstring, very, very comfortable to wear to work. I've said that many times. And then I paired it with the Zara blazer, which is also navy blue, and it has a um, ecru lining on the inside. So when you flip it up, you get that little pop of color. They do have functional buttons on the side of it, and it is a very heavy uh, blazer. It's not one to be worn in summer all day. Maybe if you had a couple of hours where you were going somewhere, you could put this blazer on but it really is for fall and winter because it is very heavy. And I was surprised that they were selling it during the spring winter time. Okay, go figure. And then I paired it with this cami um, that I purchased from Shein Motif line. I was looking for some camis and I said, you know what, let me type in Shein Motif, uh, the Motif line and see if they have some very nice silky camis. And oh my gosh, they have those beautiful camis. And I think these camis were $20 so maybe $16 but they come in all different red colors and I love the fact that they're draped in the front however I like draping in the front but if you bend over the draping can tend to show parts of my body that I do not want to show again I love modest fashion and so I'm not trying to show everything if you know what I mean so what I've done is I've taken some double sided tape and I've taken the under piece of it and just laid it right across the top. That way if I bend down, I don't have to worry about it coming up at all. I paired it with my Zara pumps. These are old pumps. They are ombre pump. They have a little extra, a little um, gray and a fade into or ombre into the navy blue. And I decided to pair it with it so it pick up nicely with the navy blue and also the extra underlining of the jacket. And then I'm gonna grab my toy perch. bag but it's a laser cut bag. I got this bag on sale as you guys know I love this sale and I'm going to pair it with this bag and off we are to work. So we all have a good powder blue color. We usually wear powder blue with our classic button down shirt but this time I opted for a blazer and a little cami underneath. This blazer I purchased from Zara a little while ago. I don't know if they still have it available, but they always have this classic cut, cut blazer. And they do have functional uh, buttons. That's one thing I love about Zara, is that they always have functional buttons on the sleeve. Well, you can see that, I'm sure you can. But powder blue is a double neutral. Um, you think about the classic button down shirt and powder blue, you can pair it with navy, you can pair it with gray, you can pair it with camel. Uh, you can put it with a pair of jeans on Casual Friday. It goes with the just about anything. And so does this blazer and this cami. And I kept on with my Reese pants that are not to the jogger, but are very classy and uh, elevated and office-like. And so you can either dress these up or dress these down. I paired it with this cami that 
that I purchased from Shein most of as well. I believe it's like $10.99. It is a very good quality and it matched perfectly with this powder blue, powder blue bake blazer. And then I paired it with the same Zara pumps that have a little ombre um, going from gray, ethnic gray, and all the way up to the, the, the uh, navy blue, the classic navy blue. Then I grabbed my turret toy perch navy blue purse that I purchased a while ago. I thought it was suede, and it is so close. We would have to talk about that. But anyway, I do love the bag. It has a couple of different compartments inside, and it can actually fit my tablet inside, so that's perfect for the work week. And so this is going to be the completed work week look. So you really can't go wrong with an all black ensemble day. This black ensemble, I did not buy together. I pieced these pieces together and you may be able to tell they're different blacks, but I tried to get as close as possible. I'm gonna start with these pants I picked up from Zara. These are a classic black pants. I rolled them up at the bottom so you can see my ankles, which gives the illusion that I'm slimmer than what I am. Little fashion hat thing. And it also has the big belt at the, uh, the waist to minimize our tummy area, especially during that those certain times of the month, or maybe those certain times of the month where we, we've had too many cakes, cookies, and pies. I grabbed, I put it on, paired it with my cami from the Motif Collection at Shein, which is uh, $16 or $20. It's a really beautiful, high-quality uh, camis. And I also paired it on with my White House Black Market Blazer that I purchased many, many, many ago but these blazers at White House Black Market are always there they are considered their classic so they always have these blazers in stock. Um, sometimes they have a little peplum sometimes they have a straighter fit but you can always find these blazers at the White House Black Market. To zhuzh it up a little bit I paired it on with my J. Crew heels that I got on sale um, a little while ago. I was looking for them and they are sold out. I'll see if lately they have a Another pair, pair that's similar. I think, believe they were regularly like $130, $140. I purchased them for $40, so I grabbed them right away. They are very comfortable because the heel is not that high, and they do have the calf hair on them. And I love the fact that the letter print on the big spots. I feel like that adds a little bit more chic and classic to it. I paired it with this purse that I got a little while ago from. Alja. Very, very cute, classic square shape. We love those square shapes. And so this is going to be another work week look. Black, you cannot pull. So keeping on with the same Zara pants and the same Shein motif uh, cami, I paired it with this Zara blazer, the same as the navy blue blazer that I purchased, but I just got in this beautiful camel color. And again, these blazers are pretty heavy, so they are meant for the fall winter, um, although they were selling them in the spring and summer, so I guess you can get away with it too, especially being with that this is a camel you can pair with a beautiful egg crew or a white, but I decided to put it on with the black, kept it on with my uh, J. Crew leopard print with beautiful heels that are low heels as well, keeping with the same roll up of the pants to bring out the ankle to make me look slimmer, and I'm going to pair it with this little bag, it's a patent leather bag that I purchased a while ago from a flea market for $15. Someone says, don't tell anybody that, but I'm so proud about the price that I paid for it. And I love to tell people this bag was only $15 because I get more compliments on this bag than I do on some of my more expensive bags. So yes, I'm very proud to tell you about this bag was $15. And this is going to be completed to So this next outfit I kept the Zara pants on. These are high-waisted pants, as you can see. I believe they had them in a beautiful Kelly green, and I usually make them in different colors. I believe they had them in a neutral tone, which I wish I would have grabbed, but I didn't grab. But I love the pleats in the side, as you can see. I have a, a smaller waist and a bigger behind, um, and so this may fit well in the waist for all of you all out there who have the same shape. And then I paired it with um, the same J. Crew. That are leopard print with the whole hair, like I got on sale. And then I paired it with this beautiful Reese top. This top 
had been eyeing this top for a while. I believe it was originally like $300. I think I gave it, got it for $80 or $90 because they had a sale. I only buy Reese on sale because Reese is very expensive. Occasionally, I may pay full price or something if I feel like it's going to sell out really fast. But this top, I was like, let me wait and see. And my weight paid off. Patience paid off. And so I love the fact that it's a beautiful rose color. It is 100% silk. The, the sleeves and the detail of the sleeve, it is embroidered on all around the sleeves as an extra level of chic or rouge. You guys can get your hands on a couple of piece pieces. They're classic pieces. This shirt is going to last me for the next 10 to 15, 20 years. It will never go out of style. The buttons are hidden. They have an overlap right here down below and it just is a really, really beautiful top. And so I paired it with my Toy Birch bag, the Resin Well bag, because I felt like the bag needed to be a little bit more elevated since the shirt that I'm wearing is loose and dark. And so this is going to be a pretty So thank you so much for joining me this week. My name is Jay. Please like, subscribe, hit that little notification bell, and you can share with your friends and everyone you know who will be interested in my content, as well as you can follow me on Instagram at In Your Own Sheet. Instagram. Instagram. Okay. Thank you so much again and you guys have a fantabulous weekend.